Timmons, who many of you know as a member of the hit singing group 98 Degrees. Jeff brought his mother Tricia, brother Michael, and sister Tina to our session. Jeff and family were in for a surprise as the grandfather who passed before they were born came through with messages that let them know that he knows what's going on in their lives. He also gave them the gift of bringing through just the people they all wanted to hear from. The first thing I'm going to tell you is I've got a male figure that's coming through that I would see as being like father. So I have an older male that's coming through. I need to acknowledge that there's a connection to January. So I feel like there's either a birthday or an anniversary in January. I feel like there's either now pending right now as we speak, something that I would see as being going to court, legal papers, court stuff. But there's legalities all around from, from what they're showing me. And they're making me feel like this is something that is going to or has it's mounting. There's like a mounting feeling. So if they're talking about a past thing, then what they're talking about is something that I felt started small and then just spiraled almost out of control. This is coming from the older male that I would see as being the father figure. Is there an older male figure connected to you that I would see as being like father who's passed? Um, to my husband. That's a, but so it would be your father-in-law? Yes. That's a father to me. Connected to him, I don't know if he's the gentleman who had cancer, but there's a connection to cancer that comes up in that family. Do you understand that? Yes. He's also making me feel that he's got the dog with him. There's a reference to the dog, and he makes me feel like it's one of three that he wants me to acknowledge, but he's acknowledging the dog. He's also making me feel like he has either the A connection to him or there's an A connection to the family, but he's putting a big A in front of this, and he's making me feel like I need to acknowledge. Is his wife still here? Because he's acknowledging a female figure that I would see living. So there's got to be a female figure living to him that I would see as being his sister, his wife. Um, but it's, it's the woman who is severely diabetic, Severely, like, like really, really bad, like needed insulin every single day. He was diabetic, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. He was, he was, he diabetic. was diabetic. Like, really bad? Yeah. 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 Like, needed Sorry, insulin every time. Yeah. Okay. So then, does he mean his wife's with him? Yeah. There's got to be an A connection to that family then. Um, so there's got to be yeah. like his, the. His, okay. His wife. She's the A. Um, Amada. Her okay. name's Amada. That, okay, so that's just me misinterpreting this. Do you know if she passed before him? No. Okay. I want you to know that he was met by a woman. He was met by a female that went before him that I do not feel like was his mother. So I feel like this has to be either his sister, his cousin. His son's still here? His son is still living? Who's the N? Who has, like, the N name? They're, they're telling me to acknowledge, like, either Nicole, Nicholas. There's got to be an N. There's a, there's a Nicholas. Directly connected to him. Who would be Nicholas to him? A great-grandson? Living. Are there twins in that family? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. He's making me feel... Were you happy to hear from him? Like, were you hoping to hear from him? Yes. Okay. He's making me feel like he's stepping forward, which lets me know that you're hoping to hear from him. By the way, somebody's birthday is now, because I'm seeing a happy birthday. So there's got to be a white flower, happy birthday in the family. So somebody's birthday either just passed, or it's happening, like, today, tomorrow. But there's, like, a birthday right around now, because he's telling me to acknowledge this. And you guys said that he actually passed from diabetes? Yeah. But he's making me feel like he had to have congestive heart failure in addition with this. Because somebody fills up with fluids because I feel like I, they can't breathe. Okay. He's also making me feel like somebody didn't see him before he passes. So I don't know if he was in a different state or if there was a connection where somebody had to come from a different state. But there's an issue about that. He's making me feel like we have to let that go. Okay? Now, you, you said that this was not your dad, but he's coming across to me like he is. So I don't know if you had a good relationship with him. But let me just say this. I want you to know that he's coming across as father to me. And he's making me feel like I need to announce the baby. So I don't know if somebody's now pregnant or somebody had the baby since he passed, but he wants me to acknowledge the baby. He sees the family growing, he sees the family changing. He's also making me feel like somebody changed his name. So what I mean by that is like they didn't stick with his name. And I don't mean like somebody got married and, and, and changed the name. I mean somebody like gave up his name, changed his name. They did it, like they uh, came up with a different version of it, but I feel like we changed the name in, in some way, okay? Now, I'm telling you, there's a birthday in July. There's gotta be a birthday oh, in July. Yeah, there was a birthday. Okay. Yeah. Because they're telling me, happy birthday, and it's around me now. So there's, like, a happy birthday right around now. Is mom still here? Yes. Okay. There's a running joke, according to this man, that either your mom cannot drive or that there's an issue about transportation and getting around. <laughs> but I feel like it's a running joke. So I don't know if this is an ongoing thing in the family, like, yeah. avoid her. A couple of us can't drive. But there's, like, a running joke that I feel like it has to do with you know, connected to this woman with the birthday. Now, I'm going to tell you that somebody lost their child because he's letting me know that there's a younger energy that is there as well. So I don't know if somebody miscarried, but there's an energy of a child that is there as well because he's letting me know that the child is there. Somebody had it recently just, somebody passed in the last four years because they're telling me to acknowledge that we're either coming up on the fourth, it's going to be four years, but I feel like somebody just recently passes. Now, this gentleman, who I'm going to refer to as the grandfather of the father figure, is making me feel like that energy is there. 
okay? And I need to bring this up. And I also want to talk about, I'm going back and it might be a separate dog, but he wants me to acknowledge the dog that had, it's got to be a female dog because I feel like it's, it's a dog that had either like gynecological cancer or had tumors lower in the body. But I feel like I need to acknowledge that dog, like running in fields, like like open open fields, <laughs> like in a big big way. I knew and I'm, it. And I'm I'm <laughs> I'm also. Does he go by the name Louis? Does he go by Louis? No. Who's no. the Who's the Louis or the Lewis, or the L name? Connected to the man. My mother-in-law's name is Louise, but that's Lu not connected. Is she to still that. here? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Do you know if she? Has the child who's also passed? She has had a child that has passed, yes. Okay. So the father figure that you're connected to would be your grandfather? This man is your grandfather? The man we were talking about earlier is my grandfather. He's your grandfather. Mm -hmm. He wants me to acknowledge Louise's family. Okay. He wants me to acknowledge that the child that Louise, or the Lewis, I was getting Lewis, lost is also connected to family on the other side. And I'm also supposed to tell you that there's somebody who passes in a, in a car accident? Or somebody who passes in an impact. Oh. Somebody passes when I would see as being like a vehicle-related thing because I'm seeing a car. So there's got to be something, which is weird, though, because normally I get a car accident as an impact where I feel it. I'm not getting it. I'm, I'm seeing it. Like, I'm seeing it as like they died in a car. That's weird. It's like, it's like a vehicle thing, which I can't explain, but I know that there's a J or a G connection that is going to come up in, 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 in relationship to that. Right. Can you explain that? Yeah. The, my college, one of my college roommates. Wait, uh, but hold on. Before you say that, it's got to be male. Male. Last be if he's college. Hello. Unless you went to a very liberal college. I wish. Um, <laughs> Wasn't lucky enough to go to that school. But, but there's going to be a J or a G connection to that. That's like, right. either he's going to be Jack, he's going to be James, there's going to be a J connection that comes up with that. That's right. And I really feel like this is a man who um, is still the man. Like, I still feel like he's got a very dominant energy in your family. Like, what has been the foundation that he might have laid in his family he still stands. And people can still resonate with a lot of who he was and basically still is in some respects, and I feel like it's important that you guys share that. This reading continues, but first, here's what Jeff Timmons and his family had to say about their messages so far. Father figure is my father-in-law and my children's grandfather, who they never met because they, uh, he passed before any of my children were born. I didn't know my father-in-law for very long, but the time that I did know him, I was very close to him. He was very caring to me and always at my side. There's a running joke, according to this man, that either your mom cannot drive. We were just having a joke. My sister just got married, and we, we had a big joke at the wedding about how none of us can drive, so that might be one of the things he was talking about. CBS Friday, the original supermodel. Before the break, you saw me connect Jeff Timmons of the group 98 Degrees with a grandfather that neither he nor his siblings had ever met. Fortunately, Jeff's mom was there to help with validations because this family patriarch had much more to say. But he's very excited to be able to do this. I don't know how he was in life, but he's making me feel like this is not something that would go against his grain in life. I feel like this is an open man. This is a man who had very strong beliefs, a very strong faith. He might have been a little sarcastic or might a little, a little stodgy in some ways, but I feel like it's important that the family knows that he came through. Now, his son is still here. I need to acknowledge that, but I also want to acknowledge the F. There's got to be an F or a PH name, like either Frank or Francis. There's got to be an F or a PH name that he wants me to bring up. And he's making me feel like the 17th is significant in your family. Now, he's making me feel like I need to acknowledge the person that passed in the last four because he wants me to bring this up and he's making me feel like, now, that's not the college roommate that we're talking about. That's somebody that's, that's different. This person that passes in the last four feels like, again, and it's got to be a contemporary to somebody that's here. So it's got to be what I would see as being their brother, their sister, their friend. It's got to be a connection on that level. Can you and there's got to be a Sierra K around this as well. So can you explain Jeez. that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, because to me it's got to be connected like this. But he, he, he explains that there's question marks around how the person passes or when the person passes. And the question marks are not about the passing. The question marks are about the relationship connected to the passing. Where's the Chris or the Kristen? Who's got the Sierra K connection? The Sierra K is on the past? Yes. yes. No. Well, no. There's both. The CRK that's passed is a contemporary to who? Uh, uh, yeah, all How, just tell me, I don't know what the relationship is. Friend. A friend. It's a friend of the family. Yes. Okay. A smart ass friend? Sometimes. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but fun. Yes. Great. Okay. There's a very dominant female energy attached to that. And I want to talk about where, where you guys, do you guys live, like, apart from each other, but still together? 
Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But not under the same roof, but in the same place. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I need to bring up what's on the wall photo-wise or on the wall creatively painted, something that would have a connection to one of these people that would be like a validation of their presence still in your lives. The C or K that is connected as a friend, I don't know if this was somebody that you guys were more connected to um, or spent more time with, but I feel like I want to connect on that level because I'm seeing pink roses. When I see pink roses, that's their way of expressing their love, so I want to I bring that out and put that there. And I'm also feeling that there's got to be a reference to the piano or there's got to be a reference to the keyboard, but I'm seeing the black and white, so it's got to be a reference to the piano, to the keyboard, and I know that there might be something musical involved with that, you know, in some respects, where either somebody was the writer, somebody was the composer, somebody was the player, or something's been done to honor one of these people in some capa capacity, which I feel like is a really big, really big deal. There is something legal that I'm being, like, told to tell you to stay on top of, because I feel like it can spiral out of control and there's so much spin involved with this that I'm very uncomfortable. That's unbelievable. Okay, I'm very, very, I, I have to be co completely clear. I'm very uncomfortable because I feel like as in the right as somebody is, perception seems to be what is mostly oh my God. being looked at. And <sighs> there's like a huge thing about this. So I'm just putting out there that I would love to say I see this huge, wonderful, positive outcome. I'm not seeing the outcome. I'm seeing the situation and the strife and the turmoil that it's, it's being created. Your grandfather's making me feel like you guys need to keep it cool with this and, and in some respects keep, like, verbally nothing to be discussed, okay? And he's making me feel like it's something that has to be honored because it's either been going on for two years or it's going to go on for two years or there's, like, a two connection to this, okay? He does want me to acknowledge Joseph, so I don't know if Joseph is still here, but he's acknowledging Joseph. And he's also making me feel like there's going to be something um, fresh starts and new beginnings, but it's going to take a while for the fresh starts and new beginnings to take place. Where does the gym come in? Who's the gym? That's our dad. Still here? Yes. yes. Okay. I don't understand what he's showing me. He's making me feel like then Jim, Jim is not what he goes by, or Jim is not his real name, or... His name's James, but sometimes he goes by JT. Okay. I don't know if that's... Is Jim dad connected to November? Or the 11th? No. Okay. I might be bringing somebody else into this. What's your tie to November? Well, to the 11th of a month. When's Lisa's birthday? November. What? 18th. Something like that. Um, Who's that? That's our cousin. Is there a Thomas or a Tom in that family? No. Mm -mm. You sure? Yeah. No, I'm not sure, but... Okay, hold on. Take me to the adopted family. Take me to who I would see as being, like, adopted or who has adopted somebody or where there's, like, a step relationship in the family. Where's that? Tim McCarthy. Explain to her why you're saying that, though. It's my dad's best friend from childhood. Okay. Would he be like an adopted son to the family, or was he part of the family? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is he still here? Yes. Okay. The 22nd or 23rd seems to be in, in, in important here, too. Yeah. Because he's bringing that up right. as, as well. And he's also talking about somebody doing something outside of, like, Outside of what they're known for, they're going to be doing something outside of that. So if somebody's known for their painting, they're going to be known for their writing. If somebody's known for their singing, they're going to be known for their acting. If they're known for their dancing, they're going to be known for their photography. They're going to be known for something else as well. And there should be a feeling of, you know, being honored to be able to explore whatever their abilities and talents are. There will be a problem with the foundation of a house or a problem with the foundation of building something. Um, and I don't actually think I mean that in a metaphor. I actually mean the cement. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, the actual foundation. There's going to be a problem with the building of something that you have to build upon. Who's the pool person? Does somebody play billiards or pool? We have a pool table. Yeah, right pool there. table. Is there, like, a funny story about something happening on the pool table that wasn't pool-related? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there are funny stories about the pool table. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. They pull back. They pull back. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, you're very welcome. You're welcome. It was a pleasure connecting Jeff and his siblings to the grandfather they never met. 
and now I want to continue to honor the process by sharing messages and validations that we didn't have time to show you. They confirmed a sister figure reference as a family member in Texas, but no one could make sense of this other family message. Now, does he have four kids? He wants me to talk about a family of four. They also didn't know a D name, but there was this shout out to Jeff's brother. He also wants me to acknowledge either Mike, Mick, Michael, there's an M name. As in many sessions, there were some very clear messages that didn't seem to make sense. You guys are connected to someone who either passed from leukemia or who passes from what I would see as being AIDS, but there's like a blood disorder that's connected to this. And I'm supposed to acknowledge that person is all right. And there were messages which seemed confusing, but were completely understood. It's weird. It's like a knife or something I would see as being like metal up on a wall. Our, our father collection eyes and stuff like that. There were some names of places that also came through, and while no one could think of a Hawaii connection, this message about Italy was validated. Who's going to Italy? A friend of mine. Tell her to be careful with her passport. No one laughed when I mentioned the joke about veggies, and the response to a Marlboro Winston message was very iffy. But Jeff did confirm a reference to a scary moment on a flight. Extremely possible. <laughs> but this is, this is every time I fly. Most of all, this grandfather who came through wanted to acknowledge all the kids in the family, and he also offered Jeff this pointed advice. One of the messages had to be, be, be patient during this time of, of, like, separation. Be patient during a time of, like, stepping apart, and don't let fear get involved in some respects. Just trust that what's supposed to happen has to happen, and that where you're going to land, you're supposed to land. But it's very hard because I feel like there's a dirty word that gets involved, and it's called ego. Stay tuned as Jeff Timmons and his family share reactions to their reading when we return. Where's the Chris or the Kristen? Who got the CRK connection? The CRK's on the past? That was a, our good friend, Craig. He also talked about keys on a piano. C Craig played piano, wrote, wrote music and things like that. And he also mentioned Chris in association with Craig or the C initial, and that's Craig's mother. Craig just passed recently in the past four years, and that's a uh, person that he kept bringing up and that was coming through quite a bit. And we were hoping to hear from him today, so you know we're very thankful and happy to hear from him. Somebody passes when I would see as being like a vehicle-related thing, because I'm seeing a car. We both had friends named Jeremy who passed in car-related deaths, but it wasn't car accidents that killed him. There is something legal that I'm being like told to tell you to stay on top of. In my personal life, I'm kind of going through a, a legal thing that can become very, very dangerous and uh, out of control if, uh, if I don't deal with it in the right way. And it's kind of a personal matter, but he could have been more spot on and accurate about his description of the situation. I was blown away by it because I'm very stressed out about the situation. It, and it, I, if I let it go uh, to my head too much and, and start to, to obsess on it, it can pretty much take over my life and I can't get anything done. But he kind of said, just kind of relax, keep cool about everything, and everything will fall into place. So I'm going to take his advice on that one. The 22nd or 23rd seems to be in, in, in important here, too. He mentioned uh, my son's birth date on the 22nd as being associated with my son. So uh, definitely more validation and uh, feels great. John's amazing. And, you know, we just wanted to thank him as a group for reading us today. And we had a great time. Crossing Over will return in a moment. For more information, visit our website, crossingoverwithjohnedward.com. As we just saw in Jeff and his family's reading, during the good times and the bad, the ones we love on the other side are with us. Whether it's to celebrate the birth of a baby or to give support during a legal problem, they are present as we pass through life's landmarks. Acknowledging that you are aware of their presence is one gift you can give back. The most important way to show that you understand this lesson is to communicate, appreciate, and validate those in your lives today. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time here on Crossing Over. But I, I feel like it's important that I also refer back. A lot of people, when they see this, will benefit from knowing what your experience is like, but they're also going to be helped by the fact knowing that the dogs are together. Because a lot of people, <laughs> you know, it, it, it is really important. It, it's really important that I, I, I stress that and they're excited to bring this through. We actually had uh, three dogs that um, passed while we were growing up, when we were all in the house together. And so, you know, we were very um, fond of the dogs and we actually were joking even before that the dogs would somehow make their way into the reading. So they did and, and that's why <laughs> we laughed. They made it through, Yeah, thank God. Thank you.